Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at BergzergArcade.com, and this is still the next part of our, was it 243 series? I believe it's F, or it could be G. I'll ask the live chat, is this part F or part G? I don't recall. Uh, part G, it looks like. All right, part G. Well, let's go ahead and open up Unity. Uh, right where we left off last time, uh, if we opened up our resources folder and our models, uh, we were supposed to set up all of our mount points. And as you can see, I didn't bother naming them on the renaming them on the fat guy. As I said before, the name really doesn't matter. It's just a, a visual to help you realize what that is. But once you have them set, you should be fine. Uh, let me see. So I've got those set. Uh, I've set all of them. I've got my colliders and everything else working right. Uh, the next thing I want to work on is uh, our hair. So if we actually open up Game Settings 2, which I already have, of course. And we're coming to Game Settings 2, we start scrolling down. Uh, right down here at the end of the constants, we have this uh, path to where the hair is going to be saved. And we also have where the texture for the hair is going to be saved. And yes, I know this would probably be better served off in another file somewhere that we could just load up and read from. And at the end, I'll probably end up moving it there. But for now, I'm just throwing these into uh, some constants in this one script. So I can just, I know where they all are. I can access them from there. And it's just one less file I have to take care of. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and create this path and start putting some hair in there. So I'm going to come over to my resources folder. And it goes down to the character. And the next one's going to be hair. So I'm going to create another folder which is called hair. Now make sure you spell it right. Uh, you don't have to call it the same as I do, uh, but if you do decide to name it anything different, make sure you come back into game settings two and change the path. And you can see that I've got a fairly descriptive path. You know, like I've got hair, human, male, and then I go into the prefab and the textures. And maybe uh, you're actually running a game and you're probably just like me and just only have one race, one sex. And you really could just take a shortcut and just say character, you know, hair or you might not even have a character you might just go hair and then uh, have the prefab and textures in there I think uh, you're better off to expand it out and kind of make it descriptive as possible because I uh, just what if your game actually does kind of take off or have some sort of success and you decide to add more races or sexes later you'll have to change uh, the way you're doing anything anyway so we'll just take care of that now so anyways, uh, after hair I go to humans so I'm going to create another folder And after human, uh, we go male. So another folder. And not main, male. And then off of this one, we have two more folders, one called prefab and one called texture. So I'm going to go ahead, create another folder. And I'll just duplicate it. This one's called prefab. And this one's called texture and let me just check to make sure prefab texture yep all right so let's go ahead and actually take a look at some of the hairs that we have with uh, this set at least the hairs that i'll be using so i'm going to open up the pro games model pack here i'll close down character and well hey look i'll open up hair now here's some materials and if you actually go back and watch the actual series you'll see what i do with the materials i end up combining them all into one and flopping some textures around uh, but for now i'm just going to I keep my material up here. If you actually want to see, you know, obviously the full in-depth way I'm doing things, you have to actually go back and uh, watch the tutorials because there's just no way to fit 243 tutorials in a very small subsection. Uh, but anyway, uh, here's some of the the textures we'll be using. So I'm actually going to cut and paste these textures. Well, actually I'm not going to cut and paste. I'm going to drag and drop. So let me just bring this up. That's as high as it'll go. These are my textures. And in the actual series, I show how to create some more textures to go with your characters. So I'm going to stick them in resources, character, uh, right there, all the way down, hair, human, male texture. And some prefabs. And these are your hairs right here. So I'm just going to shrink some of these up. And I'm just going to grab the first set. Now we the script is actually set up for a particular naming convention for these hairs based on the indexes of these numbers. And again, if you want to you know, find out exactly how was, uh, everything kind of works together, you know, go back and watch the tutorials on the character customization scene. 
But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and grab, well, I'll just grab them all. So I'm going to have to eventually move them all there anyway. So I'm going to grab all these hairs. And I'm going to come down and drag them into, well, they're not actually prefabs yet. They're just uh, the meshes. Uh, I'm still going to drag them there anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down. And I've actually gone ahead and changed the way these are named. And you can also, you can go in and change it in the hair script if you want. But the way I have this named is that it does start at one, one, one underscore one. But I've actually renamed all my prefabs to hair space, uh, greater index, lesser index. So that means I'm actually going to have to go through and change all these numbers again and names. I'll do a few here just to show you though. Um, probably not all of them though. As I'm not keeping this project, it's just to purely demonstrate uh, how to set things up. I'll just do a couple more here. Whoops, I'm not creating anything, I'm just renaming. So I've got the first set done. So I'm going to save that off. Uh, make sure you go through and do all the rest. As you can see, I have um, 12 sets with five in each. So that's 60 hairs total to do. Uh, like I said, I'm probably not going to do them all, but I will do a few. Uh, but that's pretty much it for getting all of your hair set up. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. And uh, just make sure you have all your hair index indexes set up, uh, just like we had before with the hair, space, major index, underscore, minor index. And if you're not sure about the index, I do recommend going and watching some of the character customization ones that we did earlier. I'll, it'll explain everything a little bit better than I can in one video here. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.